Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to report my laptop has been stolen. Your journey through the justice system starts long before you even set foot in a courtroom. As a victim or witness of a crime, you would have given a statement and the person who committed the crime has been charged with breaking the law of New South Wales. As far as the law is concerned, the alleged victim is one of the witnesses, often the main witness, who can help the prosecution prove the crime. He would make me pay. Can you tell me what exactly happened, what you heard and what you saw? Jack, my ex-boyfriend, was at my door. Um, he was yelling, screaming, me to let him in. I was so scared, I wouldn't open the door. I was ringing the cops when I heard Dan come home. I wasn't expecting him home so soon. And then I heard Jack and Dan yelling at each other. And then I heard this thumping sound. I opened the door and I saw Jack standing there. Dan was lying on the ground. Jack had the knife in his hand and so much blood. Did you actually see Jack stab Dan? No, but I know he did it. He always carried that stupid flick knife with him. He said he needed it to feel safe. I mean, God knows why he needed to feel safe. Everyone was scared of him and his crazy temper. The detailed statement you give the police, the physical evidence they collect from you and their other investigations all form the basis of the case that will be brought against the person accused of the crime. If the case is prosecuted by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions in the District or Supreme Courts, the New South Wales Witness Assistance Service can put you in touch with any welfare, health, counselling and legal services you may need to get you through this difficult time. Specially qualified staff will work with children and other groups with specific needs. So do you want to start by telling me a little bit about what happened? I was running down my street in the hope that I wouldn't be late and he drove by in his car and he pulled over and opened the door and said, you look quite in a bit of a hurry there, would you like a lift to school? I said yes. So I got in and I gave him the directions for my school. If you are an Indigenous Australian or come from a non-English speaking background, your culture will be respected at all times, especially around complex and sensitive oh, issues man. such as family and community connections and beliefs. Do you know her name? No. It's very important that we obviously try to identify her um, and through that we need to get as much de detail as we can from you. Yep. Uh, she was wearing a black hoodie. So you said roughly what time was it that this occurred? I'd say about 6 or 7 p.m. So how'd you go? Okay, yes. So what happens now? Will you charge him? No, not at first. We give him the opportunity to come in for an interview and if he's charged with an offence, the matter goes to the local courts. If the courts decide that the evidence is enough to satisfy a jury beyond reasonable doubt that he committed the offence, then the magistrate refers your case to the district court and it's heard in front of a judge and a jury. Your safety and privacy is important, especially if you have been a victim of physical or sexual violence. You should be told if the accused has been granted bail and is back in the community, and you can be protected from contact with the accused and their witnesses. You will also be consulted if they want to plead guilty to a less serious charge in exchange for dropping other charges. He's been granted bail, but he's been instructed not to come within 500 metres of your house or approach you or your family when you're out and about. I'm, I'm scared. I don't want to look at him. I don't want to see him. Will I have to see him when I'm in court? No, look, you'll be in a special safe room with closed circuit TV cameras. That means that the judge and everyone in the courtroom can see you on the monitors, but you won't see the accused. And you can have a support person with you when you give the evidence. There is a lot that has to happen before you get to court. Once charges are laid against the accused, the court process starts in earnest. The prosecutor or your court support person will keep you updated about how the trial process works, what you have to do, and where and when the trial will take place. I mean, pretty serious charges. I mean, your husband died as a result of the fight, so... Jack could go to prison if the charges are proved against him. I don't understand. What do you mean proved? 
Jack stabbed him. What happens next? Well, Jack's been charged with murder and he'll be committed to stand trial in the Supreme Court. And proved means that the jury have to decide if there's enough evidence for them to say that the crime was committed by him beyond reasonable doubt. When will I have to go to court? Well, generally you won't have to give evidence at the committal hearing in the local court, but you will have to give evidence at the trial in front of the Supreme Court judge and jury. It's going to be a long haul, I'm afraid.